hello everyone welcome to the new video of computer network in this video i will be uh, demonstrating how to construct smallest lan of two pcs using switch uh, and we are going to form this physically uh, also we will see how to configure the pcs so that they can communicate with each other in this network so before starting let's discuss which components or devices required to construct this wired lan so we require two computers um, with windows 7 8 or uh, 10 or any other os then we require two wires uh, which are straightly crimped and these wires are uh, twisted pair cables with rj45 connectors connected on the both the ends then i am using switch we, here i am using d link uh, 24 port 10 by 100 mbps switch this is the back panel of computer or cpu here ethernet port is highlighted where i am going to connect rj45 connector of the wire this type of straight over crimped twisted pair cable we are going to use uh, to form this network this wire has two ends with rj45 connector connected on the both the ends one end of this wire i am going to connect to the ethernet port of cpu or a pc and the other end uh, i will be connecting it to the port on a switch this is d-link 24 port 10 by 100 mbps uh, d-link switch that i am going to use it supports 10 by 100 mbps network speed we can connect 24 port uh, to the 24 pcs to form a lan we can extend this LAN by connecting multiple switches in a series. This is front and back panel of D-Link switch. Front end shows 24 ports where we can connect 24 PCs and corresponding LED panel. Both ports and uh, LED panels they are uh, numbered. When we connect uh, suppose LAN cable to port number 3 then corresponding third LED will start glowing. Then this is the back panel which has a provision to connect power cord uh, and we can connect uh, this to the uh, main supply so that we can turn this switch on and if power fails then the whole network will collapse because we are going to form star topology using this switch. This is how we are going to form a physical LAN with two pieces connected to each other uh, through uh, the switch and uh, twisted pair cables. We are going to form star topology so let's connect the power cord to this switch and connect the other end of the plug of that switch to the main supply then when we turn this main supply on then for the uh, fraction of seconds or for few seconds the all led will glow and then they will be turned off now this uh, is the straight through cable uh, we are going to use to connect to the back panel of the uh, PCs. Let's connect one end of the uh, wire to the uh, Ethernet port of the first PC and connect the other end of the wire to the port on a switch. Suppose I am connecting it to port number one of the switch, then you can observe that uh, corresponding first LED will start glowing on that switch, which indicates that the connection to the switch at one end is correct now let's follow the same procedure on the second uh, pc now let's connect one end of the uh, second wire to the uh, second pc and other end of the wire connect it on a switch suppose it is connected on port number 23 then you can observe that uh, corresponding to uh, port number 23's uh, led will start glowing so you can observe first and 23rd led are starts glowing now this is how we have built the uh, wired lan now let's configure the pc so that they can start communicating over a lan so let's configure the first pc now on a start menu uh, go to the uh, control panel then click on now under internet and network click on view network status and task now on the left hand side you can see change adapter setting click on it and click on ethernet that is right click on ethernet go to the properties and click on internet protocol version 4 tcp ip v4 now click on use following ip address now for example i am assigning 200.200.200.100 as ip address to this pc as it's a class c ip address so subnet mask will appear automatically as 255.255.255.0 now that's it 
close this by clicking on ok now do the same procedure on the second pc go to start menu type control panel click on control panel under network and internet click on view network status click on change adapter setting right click on ethernet go to tcp ip v4 now use following ip now use same network address as that of the previous pc and assign 200.200.200.101 as a ip address for example now click in the subnet mask uh, subnet mask will appear automatically now click on ok and that's it we are done with the configuration on both the pcs now let's check whether we are getting the ip address uh, that we have assigned now click on details you will see the whatever ip address we have assigned they will appear on the screen now go to pc number one now on this PC as well you can check the whatever IP address we have assigned it will appear in the details of that PC. Now we will check whether these two PCs can communicate with each other and whether whatever configuration we have made these are correct or not. So for that purpose on first PC I am going to command from by clicking CMD and in the start menu. But if I want to check the IP, uh, configured networks IP address then in that case I will use IP config command so it will shows which IP is assigned to my PC. Now to check the connectivity I will write ping space IP address of other PC with whom I want to connect. So ping space 200.200.200.101 which is a IP address of second PC. Now you can see we are getting reply from the second PC which indicates that four packets we have sent four packets we have received so connection is successful there is no packet loss means whatever configuration we have made it is correct and we can communicate between the two pcs now go to the second pc and check the same settings go to the command prompt by typing cmd and again here as well we can check the IP address assigned to this PC so write IP config space uh, and enter it will shows IP address of this second PC now type PING ping space IP address of first PC that is 200.200.200.100 now it also shows that we are getting reply from this uh, first PC which indicates 4 packets sent 4 packets received so 0% loss and all packets are 100% received by the first PC. Now we can check our own PC's configuration with the help of this command ping space 127.0.0.1. This is a loopback IP address which is used to check the PC's self on configuration. Now till now whatever network we have built it is a local LAN network. So uh, IP address I have assigned with my own choice so I am not getting internet access. So uh, to get a internet access we required internet uh, cable that is ethernet cable which is having an internet connection. Now to get an internet connection I am connecting the internet cables uh, RJ45 connector to pin number 13. So here 13 number pin uh, corresponding LED will start glowing it indicates that the internet cable connection is uh, accurate. Now still we are not getting internet because we have assigned IP address manually and we are not we have not followed the uh, network address of it, uh, internet. So we have to change that so for that purpose again goes to the uh, change adapter setting e ethernet connection then properties go to tcp ip v4 and click on obtain ip automatically because we want internet connection from dscp server the server which is providing internet connectivity now disable this network for few seconds and then turn it on again now again go to change adapter setting 
double click on this network and go to details now you can see we have got the ip address from the uh, dscp server and it, here it is mentioned dscp enabled as yes and we got an ip address from internet server now let's check whether we are getting internet or not yes we got the internet connection we have opened the gmail website that's all for this video in this video we have seen how to form a local lan and how to connect internet in this local lan so that we get internet access uh, in the network so that's all for this video and thank you for watching